So Mountain Lion came out yesterday in the App Store for a price of $13.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. So at first it was I struggled to download it because so many people were downloading but it eventually downloaded and it took about two hours to download and then 30 minutes to install as my internet is really slow. So in this review I'm just going to go over the main new features, tell you what I think about them and then give you my overall opinion on Mountain Lion. So let's get started. Um, I want to start off with just a quick simple feature. I really like how your name is up here in the toolbar at the top. This is really useful if you have multiple users of your Mac so you know who's signed in and who's not signed in so you know whether to log out or not so that is just a really nice simple feature up there in the top which i just wanted to mention but one of the main new features what i'm going to talk about first is the new dock layout so what they've done to the dock is give it this new style with new headlights to show that your programs are open and they are much nicer than the old ones and the dock is much more it's just such a better high quality i don't know if you can see it on this screen recording but if you get it yourself or look at pictures of it the dock is really good high quality um also we've got this new design trash icon on the dock and the new applications and download folders are nice and changed and they also bounce at the bottom when you hit it so that's a new change and fixed a bug in mountain lion um one thing what i would criticize though is that some applications which haven't been made for mountain lion yet are quite pixelated because of how high quality the new mountain lion layout is as it is made to fit the retina macbook pro as well so that's all for the new dock i really do like the dock i think it's way more sleek and better designed and I appreciate how they've took the time to change the dock design because they never normally do but they have definitely made it better now moving on to the next thing I'm going to talk about which is all the new applications Apple introduced into Mountain Lion um, because they were trying to make um, the Mac operating systems more like iOS they brought lots of the apps over from iOS onto Mountain Lion and we're just going to have a quick look at them now. Starting off with just a few simple changes that address book has now been changed to contacts and iCal has now been changed to calendar. So starting off with the new the first new app which is Reminders um, which came in on iOS 4. So basically what you do is you just set reminders so I'll just say make bed and then then you set a time and then it will remind you up in your notification center when you have to do it so that's reminders you should all be familiar with this if you do have iOS but it's just nice for reminding you to do stuff and it's easier than making an event in a calendar and much faster also if you press information you tell me when to remind you and all the other little features about the reminder so that's reminders i really do like how they brought this into um, mac and how you can easily remind yourself to do stuff instead of going on to calendars it also fits in really well with the new notification center which i'm going to talk about to you in a minute um, next we've got notes um, so basically it's just like the notes in Mac so you can I mean iOS so you can just make a new note and call it to do list that's the title so I'll just put make videos and then that note will automatically be saved into your um, settings or hard drive and it will never delete until you choose to delete the note like that 
And another really good feature about this is it's built into iCloud. So if you make a note on your iPad and you set up with iCloud, it will in a few seconds sync to your Mac. And then when you open up your Mac the next time, it will be on your Mac. Um, and vice versa, if you make a note on your Mac, a few seconds later it will have synced onto your iPod or iPad or iPhone and then you'll be able to just use it from there. So that is notes. You can also do the iCloud with reminders as well. Moving on to messages, which is also came into iOS 5 just a few just when iOS 5 was released and all you do is you can just send a message to someone and then it's a free messaging service basically so if other people have an iOS or a Mac they can send messages to and from each other for free and this is also in on iCloud so if you send a message on your Mac to someone then you can carry on the conversation from where you left off on your iPod or iPhone. So that is messages for you. Um, next we've got Game Center. I'm just going to close messages because it's making a weird noise. So next we've got Game Center which wasn't really a big deal for me as though I don't use it that much but it will be for some people. Um, one of the bad things about Game Center is there's not many apps to play on game center yet but once people start submitting apps to be available for the game center there will be lots more a bigger range of apps to use and play with on the game center so there's nothing really that good about the game center other than you can play games against your friends and stuff like that so that is game center um now next i want to talk about the notification center so the notification center you can get it up here by swiping like that or you can get it by putting your two fingers on the right of the keyboard and swiping to the left um, but that doesn't really seem to be working for me so I can't really do that so I just do it like this I've got no new new notifications at the moment um, but what it does is notifies you of any updates in your applications. Like if you get a new message in mail, a new email, it will notify you that you've got a new email. If your reminder, if it needs to remind you to do one of your reminders, it will remind you in your notification centre. And if you get a new messages through messages, it will remind you also in your notification centre. And if I did have notifications in here, I would be able to tweet out from here and I would be able to search from here. So that is Notification Centre. You can also change all the settings about what apps you want to be notified about. It will also in the future do third party apps, so you'll be able to get notifications of all your games and other applications on your Mac. Moving on to Siri Dictation. So to enable Siri Dictation you have to go to System Preferences and Dictation and Speed. Turn it on and as you can see I've got it to, if I press the function button twice it will and it, and it basically works on any app where you can type you'll be able to do a dictation. So if I double type the double tap the function button and then say what I want to say and then hopefully it'll get it right for me. So I'll just show you a quick demonstration of that now. Hello, today I am reviewing Mountain Lion. It is really good and I really like it. Done. And in a few seconds it is done it. It says hello, I am reviewing Martin Mine. It is really good and I really like it. So I'll just try again see if we can get Mountain Lion right the second time. Hello, today I am reviewing Mountain Lion. It is really good and I really like it. And as you can see, it understood me partly. It just said my name instead of Lion, but it's really fast at understanding it. And most of the time it does understand what you say really well. 
Um, so that's through dictation. It will make all of my email sending and writing a description on, say, a YouTube video so much faster and so much more fun to do. So I will really enjoy using the dictation and it will save me a lot of time. Um, moving on to the new Safari changes. First of all, as you can see, um, you can now Google search in this top bar. So I'll just search for YouTube and then it will bring up a Google search of YouTube. Um, also we've got the new iCloud tabs so you can see what tabs you've got open on your other devices like your iOS devices and stuff. Also the new share button so you can tweet a website, message a website to someone or email this page to someone so that is a really nice feature which wasn't in the old safari it will also be coming to facebook so you can update your status in october with your new with the web page what you're on um, also the tabs now fill up the full bar so as you can see it's filled up and there's no gap over here and if i add another it will just keep on filling it up and then I've also got this tab viewer now, so if I slide I can see all my tabs open, which is really cool to switch between them, and it's just really nice. And then if I close them, it just goes back to normal size. Also now if I load a website, there's a nice gradient on the load bar, and it just loads really fluently instead of loading in blocks, like that. Um, that's pretty much it for Safari, the new features in Safari, but Safari has changed a lot and it is now really good. Um, so like I said about iCloud before, you can sync all of these apps to your iPod, iPhone or iPad and they will sync and update automatically for you. A new feature in Mountain Lion is the sharing button. This, this is in quite a lot of applications. I think it's in photo booth, I'm not sure though. I think you can share a photo, but I don't know. Um, also, we have AirPlay, so you can show your Mac onto your Apple TV. So far it only works with the Apple TV, but it's really good for showing presentations and stuff like that or watching movies from your Mac onto your TV that is such a good feature and it really helps me a lot and finally I just want to show you a small little feature called Gatekeeper so it's in security and privacy I think and what it does is it just makes it so it makes your Mac safer so it warns you about downloads you can select what downloads you want to allow on this computer which is good if you have kids because you can just change the downloads to you can only download from the Mac App Store which is definitely safe so you won't get viruses even though you can't get viruses on Mac apparently so that is my full review for Mountain Lion. Overall, I think it's a really good upgrade. You should definitely upgrade to Mountain Lion and definitely if you're on Snow Leopard and on Lion. It's a really big change and you still keep all your old features like the gestures to mission control and stuff and the launch pad. So you keep all the old operating system features. Um, the only bad thing about Mountain Lion is so far is that it's not free to upgrade that is the only thing bad i actually can't find anything that is bad about mountain lion but i will make uh, another review like a month later when i have found out about all the other little features that is to find so that's all from me today's mac um, i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you in the next video bye guys